Hello. This video is about the first African American boxing champion, Joe Daines. It's about three, four in the morning, so forgive me. I was going to put a picture of Gaines on the video and um, just have a voiceover, but I don't know how to do that, so here we go. Joe Gaines was born in, what, 1874 in Baltimore, Maryland. Gaines began boxing in about 1891, at about the age of 17 18. His first attempt at the title, the lightweight title, was with a guy named Frank Iron. But he had to retire in the 12th, I believe, because of an eye injury. Gaines, in the return bout, Gaines knocked Iron out in the second, first round. Gaines' nickname was the Old Master, though he was a young man, because he was a master boxer. He was like the Larry Holmes of the lightweight division. He would uh, probe for his opponent's weakness and then exploit that. But Gaines also had a lot of power, registering 100 fights, 100 knockouts, uh, and 100 and what? 58 wins or something like that. He had 20 draws, 12 losses, 6 no contests with 100 dollars. So that's 100 to get 145 wins altogether, I think. Gaines was not the first black to win a title in boxing. A man named George Dixon of Canada of Canada what owns that distinction. Gaines even fought um, another great black fighter at that time, Joe Walcott, the Barbados Demon, the welterweight champion. Gaines lost that fight. Gaines fought pretty much the best fighters of his day in the lower divisions. I think he fought middleweights, welterweights, lightweights of course and maybe he fought bigger people I'm not sure on that I think he might have fought some light heavyweights Joe Gaines uh, fought a bunch of tough fighters a guy named Sullivan I can't think of his first name right now Sullivan was Sullivan uh, the first fight they had was disqualified uh, one reporter said all Sullivan did was clinch and hug and hold in that first bout. In the second bout, Gaines knocked Sullivan out, I believe, the fifth round. Gaines also fought Ballin Nelson, uh, a guy um, who had fought two 45 rounds, two, two 40, 40 and 40 plus round fights. Now, bet, now, I'm not talking about fights like in the... <sighs> Excuse me again. I'm not talking about fights like in the bare knuckle days where a guy hits the ground and that's the end of a... hits the um, canvas and that's the end of a, of a round. I'm talking about 40 uh, three-minute rounds. 40 or more three-minute rounds. Ballin Nelson was the guy who did that. Ballin Nelson... But the first fight, I think it was a disqualification. Second fight, Gaines, Gaines knocked Nelson out. Many of his fights were fixed because black fighters had to throw a lot of fights back. Well, not even say many, but some. And some of his fights, his trainer, told, his manager, trainer, whatever, told him to carry the white fighter and not knock him out early. Gaines also fought a man by the name of O'Connolly, another tough fighter. I think Gaines beat, I forgot what round he won that one in. Did he win it? I can't remember. Yeah, Gaines, um, I think O'Connolly went on to win the, the World to Weight Championship at a later date. Gaines lost the fight up title on um, the first time in 19, I think it's 1906. He, he reigned from 1902 to 1906. 
1904, I'm sorry, he reigned from 1902 to 1904. Then he regained the title in 1906 and reigned to 1908. Along the way somewhere, Gaines contracted tuberculosis and died in 1910. When the train bringing Gaines' body back to be buried in Baltimore, People all over the country mourned and waited for the train and saluted, I think. That's highly unusual for white people of that time to salute a black of any black man. But they so appreciated his mastery and his boxing skills that they had to give it up for him. Joe Gaines, a great black fighter, African-American fighter of the past. I'll be bringing you more of these great fighters, African American and just fighters in general. I like studying about fighters of the past. By the way, I want to give a shout out to um, LDBC, who inspired me to start these videos, who inspired me to start my own boxing channel here, and also especially I think is um, Blood Boxing who also did historical um, historical videos. As a matter of fact, he showed me the way, you know, um, go to Box Rec. And I have um, pulled up old newspaper recordings of, these, of, of Joe Gaines. I did this kind of stuff anyway, because I'm like a historical researcher, but shout out to the LDBC, shout out to Blood Boxing. Ticket TV, and you know, all the guys, the guy from Texas, shout out to all you guys, peace.